All right, good morning, ladies. Happy Tuesday. Um, today, we are gonna be talking all about foundation. I'm gonna take you to my bathroom in just a second, um, but I did wanna let you know that I'm gonna be you know, showing you how to do the foundation and stuff, but at the end of the video, I'm also gonna be sharing um, a little bit about like a makeup bundle that Lemongrass offers, so stay tuned for that, and then I'll be sharing the bonus word as well, so enjoy. All right, ladies, welcome to my bathroom. I'm so excited to share with you today just some tips that I have for foundation applying um, or applying foundation, a couple different methods that you can use. And before I get started, I wanted to just share a couple tips um, that really have nothing to do with foundation, but that I feel like are very helpful before you apply foundation. So the number one thing is to make sure you're regularly exfoliating your skin. Um, because when you are regularly exfoliating your skin, that helps to take care of any buildup that might be sitting on your face. Um, because anytime there's like buildup or dead skin cells on your face, um, what's gonna happen is if you put something on top of that, you might not see that stuff. You might not see that you have a little bit of flaky skin until you try to put something on top of that. And then you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, like I feel like my skin looks really flaky um, because the makeup will just kind of like cling to those flakes instead of to your skin. So exfoliate regularly. I use my microdermabrasion cream normally like one to two times a week. Amazing. Our facial polish is also a good option for that. Um, and then the other thing is always, always, always use a primer before you apply foundation. I absolutely love our primer. It goes on very smooth. Um, and I'll just put some on real quick. I usually just do about a pump and apply that. The only other thing I have done right now is my brows and uh, my um, eyeshadow and then also mascara. And then I do have a little bit of um, concealer under my eye area. So, all right, now, before I apply my foundation, I did wanna show you guys how I conceal a little bit beforehand. I have my medium beige concealer and I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the spots that I have some acne just to give it a little bit of extra coverage before I go in there with my concealer. And with this, I actually prefer to use my finger. Um, I feel like it gives me a little bit more control over uh, where it goes. All right, so. I'm gonna be showing you how to apply liquid foundation today, and this is the shade Fawn. Um, I need to use my self tanner again, so I feel like this is actually just a little bit dark for me right now, but I wanted to just give you an idea um, of how to do it. So kind of my goal with doing this video is sometimes after I give someone my makeup recommendations and be like, hey, this is the color that I have that I think would be best for you, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes I was like, okay, well, what about the actual application? So I really wanna empower you today to know how to apply your foundation effectively. So I'm gonna show you my favorite methods um, and we'll go from there. So again, this is the fawn. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna do one side of my face um, one way and then the other side the other way. So I just like to dip my finger in here and then I'll just swipe. And again, I don't use like a ton of foundation. Um, so I'm just gonna use a little bit. I don't like just completely cover my face or anything. All right, so my favorite way to do this is to grab my Kabuki brush. And I just love um, the, the blending that this gives me. And I feel like a lot of women are really scared to use a brush when it comes to liquid products. But let me tell you, these are your best friend. You can use brushes for so many things. I've used it for my self tanner. Um, you could even use it for lotion. Like honestly, brushes are so, so helpful when applying skincare or, or makeup. So the reason that I like to use a brush or like kind of the deciding factor over, you know, whether you wanna use a brush or a blending sponge, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, is the amount of coverage that it gives you. So the, um, or maybe the type of coverage I should say. So a brush is gonna give you more, um, more coverage, less sheer coverage. Um, and then the blending sponge is gonna give you more sheer coverage, so like less coverage. Um, and I have my blending sponge here. I'm gonna show you how to do the other side and I actually wet it completely. So get it completely wet and then squeeze all the water out of it. All right, so here it is now. It's kind of grown a little bit since it's wet now. And now I'm gonna show you how I do the other side. So I'm gonna grab some foundation. 
apply it here. And now I'm gonna show you how I use this. The other option that I'm not gonna show you is honestly, you can just use your fingers. I don't recommend doing that just because um, it's really hard to get a nice even application if you're using your fingers, but you can use your hands and then just rub it in like you do foundation. But it's a lot easier to apply your foundation if you're using a blending sponge um, or a brush. So with the blending sponge, I kind of like to dab it into place. And again, as you can see, it just gives you a little bit of a, a lighter coverage. You can always add more if you need to. But I just, I don't know, lately I've just been really enjoying using my brush. I just feel like it gives me a nice, nice amount of coverage. And with a blending sponge, you more or less want to dab versus, um, versus like smearing like that. Like you more want to dab it on. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Just one last tip, if you are wearing liquid foundation, I would recommend um, applying some kind of finishing veil. I really like our pink veil. I'll show you how I apply it. I just grab the Kabuki brush. There's a little bit here in my lid. It doesn't take very much at all. Swirl that around. And I like to concentrate this, especially under my eye area, just because this has kale and clay in it. So it helps to absorb any oils that your skin would create during the day. It helps my mascara stay in place. Um, and it can help, especially if like, uh, maybe you tend to sweat uh, when you wear makeup. Um, so yeah, there you go. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And now I wanna tell you about a really good way to get started with lemongrass. So this particular, it's called our Customized Sheer Mineral Starter Kit. It does not contain a liquid foundation. However, I personally feel like, I mean, there's two different things you can do with this. You can do, um, you can get the, the mineral foundation that comes with the kit. Um, or you can get, instead of the foundation, you could get two jars of pink veil instead, which I used at the end of the video. That was the thing that I put on that helped to like set my liquid foundation and helped uh, make so that, you know, it absorbs oils and stuff throughout the day. But I also feel like it is beneficial to have um, a mineral foundation in your color just because sometimes if you want just a little bit of something to give you a tiny bit of coverage throughout the day that can be helpful you can also wear mineral foundation on top of liquid foundation um so that's also helpful um but i'm just going to show you what comes in the kit so the first thing you get is a um, concealer of your choice this is our pink concealer um, the one that I used in the video was our medium beige. Um, we also have a fair nude and then I think it's called our tan concealer. Um, medium beige is probably our most popular, um, but the fair nude is also um, a popular choice as well. The next thing is that you get a trial size foundation. I believe it comes in the same size container as our regular foundation, but it's just less product. Um, so you get that. You get a trial size jar of our pink veil. Um, and the cool thing is you can do that. Like you could get one of each in the trial size or you could get two foundation shades or you could get two jars of pink veil. So you don't have to do one or the other. Like you can, you can do two jars of foundation or two jars of pink veil, um, whatever it is that you prefer. And then you also get your choice of blush color. And then the cool thing, which does not come in a lot of makeup starter kits is you get your choice of blood or of brush. So I often recommend that if you're just getting started with makeup, you choose the Kabuki brush. Um, that one is very popular. Um, but that's what you get in the starter kit and it is only $54 and you get all of that product. So if you would be getting all of these things at full price, which would mean that like the blush and the pink veil and the foundation would all be full size, you would be paying $90. I would say $54 is actually a really good deal. Um, so I like to talk about this little starter kit just every now and then because it's really easy to forget about. Um, and the cool thing is you could get the starter kit for now if you're not real comfortable applying liquid foundation and then you could add liquid foundation later. I will say that I do recommend adding a primer to this and the primer is $24 so you'd end up spending about $78 if you would get this and the primer. Um, so let me know if you have any questions and also if you're like looking at all these things and you're like well I have no idea like what my colors are 
fill out that form that I sent you last evening and I'd be happy to diagnose you. So, all right, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, your bonus word for today is going to be blend. So send that back to me in a message all by itself and that'll enter you into the giveaway for today. Thanks for watching.